Hey everybody, Anthony here from Triple XRC Garage, and I know it's been a while since I made a video. I've been doing a lot of driving videos, but today I'm showing you what you've probably already seen maybe on other channels, but the TRX-6 Ultimate RC Hauler. Now, a while ago, this came out as a snap-on tool only. Um, you know, it was, it was basically could only get it through snap-on tools. I don't even know how you would get it because I don't, I don't never dealt with snap-on tools, so I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, so it's the TRX-6. Uh, the cab kind of looks like a Freightliner. Um, Freightliner cab, it's all black, blacked out windows. I have not seen this thing face-to-face -face in person yet. The box is still sealed. So I'm going to open the box here for you guys. We'll take a look. Now, I do have a couple other cars on the table behind the box just to compare the sizes of it and so forth. I know everybody's seen this with the uh, the little bitty Roadster car, the C8 Corvette, but um, I think I do have a Mustang. I could go get it. Uh, we could put it on the back of it, but I want to see what it looks like with the big ones. So, stand by. Okay. Let's see what this thing looks like in here. Cracking the seal for the first time on this box since it came from the factory. And so what we got in here in the box so far is gonna be the normal Stuff that you get. So it looks like there's um, the normal tools, the Allen keys, the wheels. Looks like some extra screws in the bag. And I cannot open this bag, it's not zip locked. So I cannot really go in here and look. Now, for what I understand, this black plate that's in here actually mounts on the flatbed, and you can use the, uh, use the, uh, the winch like I have on the front of my Bronco, which you'll see in a few minutes. You can mount that in. And it looks like this might be some straps to hold the vehicles on. And of course, the traditional book, <clears throat> book for it. And I'm sure there's gonna be a parts breakdown in there. And it looks like we got some extra body clips and so forth. So let's go ahead, set this aside. Let's get the truck out of here. So, I ended up using two folding tables today because well, this thing's massive. Oh, okay. So it's got an insert box. Let's slide this out. It looks like the radio might be, I don't know. Let's just get this thing out of here. So it's all entombed in this box. Oh my gosh, that box is humongous. All right, hold on. Okay. Got the box out of the way. Now let's tackle the inside box. So I'm going to turn this around a little bit. And so this looks like this could be the radio. Oh, okay, so the cover comes off like such. And it looks like your radio receiver is in that top box in this container. Let's go ahead and move this back a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, locate the uh, radio. So it's going to be in this top portion. And Be the standard 
radio we all know about. Sorry, this thing's gotten so big it's blocking up the view here. So, radio basically come out like such, and it's going to be the standard TRX radio that we know about the Traxxas radio. It's going to have the you know the locking differentials, the two-speed transmission. Here's all your set points and so forth. So, and it holds the four batteries like normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. Now this is definitely for sale in awesome RC cars in Monroe, North Carolina. If you're interested, uh, go see Robert. And he's got plenty of them. And when I say plenty of them, he had plenty of them. I, didn't count them, but I know he had at least over five to six, seven. I don't know. It was a lot. All right. Let me uh, get some stuff out of the way here. So, pick this thing up off the box here. Nice and packaged well. Okay. Check the camera to make sure we can get this whole thing in frame because this thing is humongous. Back it up a little bit. So, comes out of the box like that. And it's got the body pin here. And a body pin on top. And that's how you remove the plastic. And then it's got this like a static device plastic here. And then it's got a saran wrap. Man, that's nice. And then of course it's got another saran wrap on top. Now these are working lights. Understand. As you can see in here, there, it's all pre wired. That marker light's on top, pre wired everywhere. And here's your cord that will go into your light box in the chassis here. And, and of course, it's got the saran wrap all around it. Do this. <laughs> and of course, saran wrap front bumper. The fun part is how to me getting the rest of the saran wrap. Tank here. Oh my gosh, it's got toolboxes. That's nice. <clears throat> okay. So, so electronics in here look pretty much the same as any other TRX for, except for the sport, of course. It's got 21 turn 550 can the normal um, ESC is that your light box here got your three um, servos here for your locking differentials as well as transmission the difference is you pull these pins here to put the battery because it feeds up underneath the body and then you got clips here versus the other one used to have that little swivel so now, let's go ahead and put this cab back on. Oh, look, the body clips are up here. Looks like it's got lights on the back of the a headache rack, too. Um, oh, okay. So you've got two cutout notches here. 
So you feed it in like this, apparently. And the reason they did this, it gives the body to cow, this body a little bit more stability. Oh yeah, I'm gonna look like real quick. So these are painted over windows. So you want it to be see through, you would have to either sandpaper or chemical. Um, chemical will remove the paint. And I'm just gonna put one clip here. And one on the very top for now. Sideways. So there it is. And it's black beauty form. Um, now, we remember the other TRX-6, which is on the other side of this truck. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that thing's a beast. This thing has got chassis all the way to the rear. So all these lights work. And then under here, you've got tail lights, marker lights, D hooks, and a trailer hitch. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, will it fit the Bronco? Let's see. And I'll show you something too. Remember that black plate I was telling you about earlier? Um, so you could pick up a winch like this from Traxxas as well and so forth. Wow, this thing <laughs> yeah, is too heavy. So that's probably why they show the C8 Corvette and all that, because this thing would make it way too top heavy. But I was just curious myself to know if that would, would make a difference or not. So now, let's see the comparison to the other two of the six. Put that in a little bit. Now, forgive me, this one worked when played with. So here's your wheelbase difference. So basically, The way it looks, here, hold on, I'm gonna show you something. Okay, so if you look down the side here, the front wheel of this one, and here's your rear wheel, meets up with the back wheel. So that's how much longer this thing is. And, So, I really do like this thing a lot, but look at that thing. It's just a lot taller than the, than the uh, Mercedes, that's for sure. But that is definitely sweet truck okay some other features it does come with a smoked chrome style bumper with permanent D hooks sticking out like this they don't move they just stick straight out like this um, got dark headlights um, that light up all your marker lights light up your tail lights light up it's got nice mirrors on here and I don't think they turned in at all. Um, so yeah, it's a good looking truck. The toolboxes are pretty solid on here. So the toolboxes are pretty cool, but they do not open from what I can see. Um, now they're hollow in the back. But they got a really good look to them. So now, those rubber band looking things I showed you in the bag. This is where they connect here and they loop over your tires 
of the car that you would want to put on here. So stand by. Okay, well, I went and got my Traxxas. Uh, and it fits perfect in those wheel mounts. Um, so I'm sure all the Traxxas uh, cars wheelbase fits perfect in the uh, notches, but I'm sure there's some other ones too. Um, I do have another one I can bring in and show you that's not Traxxas, even though it's a Traxxas body on it, but it's not Traxxas. Stand by. And like I said, it looks like a Traxxas because this is a Traxxas body, but it's actually mounted on actually a red cat. Um, so let's take this car off and see how that lines up. And it lines up perfect. So you can pretty much any wheelbase a street car should work on this. Actually, it does look like it's a little bit shorter, am I right or wrong? Yeah, I mean, it's fitting right on the notches here, but there's a lot of space back here. So I guess it's for wheelbases. Um, oh, wait a minute, they do adjust. So it looks like you could take a tool. There's holes in the flatbed up here. Hold on, let me show you. On the flatbed here where you can move, I'm assuming this further up and around, you got front and rear. And then here's that spot where that plate mounts for the winch to pull it on here. So good feeling thing. And then of course there's your lights. Um, so forth. And the wheels on here, move this up here for now. The tires and wheels look like the canyons. Um, and it's got some semi looking hubcaps on here. I like that with the wheel covers. I like that. I like that look a lot. That looks really nice. It looks like there's some side marker lights on here too, which would be DOT regulated lights. And uh, well, and just so you know, the reason I'm not turning on any of the lights and stuff is because this is a brand new car, RC. And it is for sale at Awesome RC Cars. And, oops, sorry, I almost knocked the camera over. It's a brand new RC from Awesome RC Cars. And uh, we have a, a rule. I can show you, I can unbox it, but not putting a battery to it, not doing anything to it, not running it. And the reason is, is because it's brand new and we're trying to keep it brand new. If I did all that, it would be considered used, and this truck will be sold at that store. So, but anyway, just wanted to go over that with you if you're wondering why I'm not running it. Um, yeah, Robert doesn't like, um, he, he just won't do a demo, and I understand why, because these things are tough. These things run great. He don't want them bashed up, beat up, tore up, messed up. And then he would have so many used cars in there and he doesn't sell used cars. He sells them factory new. That way, all the factory warranties on them. That way you have a problem with this thing, you can call Traxxas and they'll send you parts or whatever. Um, for the people who are new to RC and uh, and just are looking at it and thinking about it, I will tell you right now, Traxxas is one of the toughest RCs out of the box I've, I've used. I can't say much for other brands because like Arma and so forth, I've never used those. Um, but I will tell you the TRX-6 over there, that's mine, the Mercedes body one, 
that thing has, I have driven that thing like crazy. You can go back in my videos and watch and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've jumped it, I've rolled it, I've done all kinds of stuff with that thing. Uh, the modification I did do to it was, of course, change the front end clearance so it could crawl, uh, cut a little backup too, and I removed all the hang up points that were on there, like the the exhaust system that stuck out and so forth. Now Traxxas does have a video if you go on their website and you can see that car hauler running and it's very impressive. I mean, this thing is crawling. It's basically a longer wheelbase, obviously a little taller and it looks like maybe a, probably a 2.2 size tire, not a 1.9, but it looks like to me that other than that, this thing's gonna crawl like crazy. So the cool thing about this is, is if you're going on a week, weekend crawl, you know, bring it with you, you know? If someone's rig breaks down, throw it on the flatbed and haul it back to, to your vehicle. Um, I mean, if you wanna just crawl with this, you might be able to help a friend out and get, it, get theirs back as well to the, uh, to, you know, where, you, where your starting point is. But, you know, I just uh, love the way it looks. I love the way it sits. Um, I'll probably have one one day. I just, not right away, but I will have one. So, anyway, I uh, just want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, have fun with our seeds.